Saints owner Tom Benson isn't the only person who's in a legal battle for his affairs and his assets. We found that you could face that kind of fight yourself. This is a story of a New Orleans man and his brother who are fighting to regain the care of their 93-year-old mom. She was put in guardianship in 2012, and she doesn't understand why she is in guardianship. This is Doug Franks speaking recently before the Florida State Legislature. He lives in Atlanta. This is Doug's brother, Charles. He lives in New Orleans. And this is their mother, Ernestine, who lives in Pensacola. Four years ago, Doug and Charles couldn't agree on who should take care of Ernestine, so a court ordered them to choose a guardian. They chose a company called Gulf Coast Caring Solutions, and now they say it was the worst mistake of their lives. She's a prisoner of her own home. She's not allowed any outside visitors. For her to sit by herself every day by people she doesn't know, strangers, and not really stimulating her in any way is very sad. The guardianship agency allows Charles and Doug just one three-hour visit with their mother per week. Doug is allowed one 15-minute phone call per day. The rest of the time, a sitter stays with Ernestine in her home, guarding the door. Because the guardianship agency has a court order forbidding the sons from videotaping their visits with her to show us, or even from taking her out of her house, we decided to come to her. We're here to see Mrs. Franks. Yes. My name is Susan. I'm with WGNO TV in New Orleans, and we'd like to talk to Mrs. Franks. You were where? WGNO TV in New Orleans. Let me call her guardian real quick, okay? Okay. Just a minute. You know, it'd be a little easier if I could just open the door. Name? Susan Rosgen in New Orleans. And I don't have instructions to let you in. I'm sorry. Is there some reason we can't see Mrs. Franks and say hello and... She shut the door on us. In spite of repeated requests for an interview, the owner of Gulf Coast Caring Solutions, Terry Bush, declined to be interviewed for this story. She told us she didn't want to comment because the brothers are suing her company to try to regain control of Ernestine's care. In court documents, the company maintains that Doug and Charles upset their mother during their visits and phone calls, and a judge has agreed. As it is in Florida, Louisiana law leaves guardianship disputes in the hands of civil court judges. But Loyola law professor Dane Cialino says our state makes it hard for a guardian to take over. It's one that requires clear and convincing evidence that the person is incapable of handling their own affairs uh, or their person in a reasoned, consistent manner. Still, he says as we all get older, guardianship will become a bigger business. And Ernestine Frank's sons say, beware. I've been told, court ordered, not to post any pictures of my mother anymore. I've been told to be quiet, but I'm not going to be because I can't be. Now, Doug Franks has detailed the brother's struggle in a website he created, freeernestine.com. But as you heard him say there, the guardianship company has a court order demanding that he take it down. However, he was testifying in favor of a bill to reform guardianship laws in Florida, and if the governor there signs it, it will become law. If you'd like more information about guardianship issues, we'll have several links to this story on our website, wgno.com.